In this lecture, let's quickly learn how we can use read only property in an interface. And let's also talk about optional properties of an interface. So let's go to VS Code. Here we have the code from our previous lecture. So here we have the user interface and we have two classes admin and member, which is implementing that user interface. Now in this interface, I'm going to create a new property called company which is going to be of type string and this property should be a read only property and since we have added this company property in this user interface and since this admin and this member class is inheriting from that interface here also we need to have that property okay and this property let's assign it here itself let's say company is Google Let's do the same thing for member class also. Okay, so now we don't have any error. Let's save the changes. So in the interface, we are saying that this company property should be a read only property. So when we are creating this company property in the admin class and in the member class, we can assume that this company property should be a read only property. We should not be able to set its value once this admin class or this member class is initialized, right? So let's try that actually. So here we have this admin object, admin instance. On that, let's try to set the company property. And let's say new company is Microsoft. You see, we are able to set the value of this company property of this admin class. Even though it is inheriting from this user interface where we are saying that the company should be read only But when we have created this company property in the admin class and we have not used the read only keyword in front of this company property By default it is not set to read only Now what we can do is while creating the instance. So here we are directly calling this admin class So this admin variable here it is going to store an instance of this admin class so what I will do is let's create a variable and let's call it admin and here itself i will specify the type of this admin as user not as admin but i'm specifying the type of this admin variable as user and user is an interface and then what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to create an instance of this admin class and that i am assigning to this admin variable so this admin now going to store an instance of this admin class. Okay. And we are able to do that because admin class is actually implementing this user interface. So we can set the type of this admin variable as type user interface. But to this, we can assign an instance of admin class because this admin class is inheriting from this user interface. That's why we are able to do this. And now you will notice that now when we are trying to set the value of this company property on this admin now we are getting the error because the type of this admin you will notice that it is user it is not admin class it is user and in that user interface we have set the company as read only and that's why now we are getting this error that we cannot assign to company because it is a read only property okay but if you specify the type of this admin variable as admin then you will not see that error because in the admin class we are not specifying the read only before this company property all right so here let me set it as user and now we will get this error so now we cannot assign a value to the company property which is read only so this is about read only property of an interface now for an interface, we can also have some optional properties. Optional properties are those properties which is not mandatory to have in the class which is inheriting from that interface. So for example, let's say I have a property called location which is going to be of type string. Now this location property here, it is not an optional property. That's why you will see that now this admin class has an error because in this admin class we do not have this location property so that's why we are getting this error now what i want is 
I don't want every class which is going to inherit from this user interface to have this location property. So if the class wants, it can have this location property. And if the class does not want to implement this location property, it can simply omit it. For that, we need to make this location property an optional property. And to make a property an optional property, we can use question mark after it. And you will notice that as soon as I put this question mark in front of this location, now we don't have any error because this location property now it is an optional property. So we can define it in the class which is inheriting from this user interface or if we want, we can also omit it. So here in this admin class, I'm not specifying the location property. Still, I don't have any error. If I save the changes, the application should compile successfully. You see, we have zero errors. And if I want, I can go ahead and I can implement it for some of the classes. So for example, let's say for this member class, I want to have a location property. Okay. And here I'm going to set it to maybe London. So here I'm setting a default value or what we will do is instead of setting it here, let's say we are going to get the value for this location in the constructor and here in the constructor let's simply set the value for the location so here let's say this dot location equals loc and now when we are calling the constructor of this member class there we will also have to pass the value for location parameter loc parameter so let me pass london here and if we save the changes we don't have any errors so in this way we can also set an optional property for an interface using this question mark and we can also set optional properties in a class in the same way in a class also if we want to have an optional property we can specify the property name and after that we can specify a question mark marking it as optional and since this location it is an optional property and we have defined it here in the member class in the member class also you see it is optional so when we are going to create an instance of this member class let's say we want to give user an option to pass a value for this location property if they want to. Otherwise, if they don't want, they can also not pass a value for this location property. Currently, they will have to pass a value for the location property, the location parameter, because here for the constructor, we are expecting three parameters, the first name, last name, and LOC. Okay, so they will have to pass the value for the first name, last name, and this LOC parameter when calling the constructor but we can also make a parameter optional so for example here we can make this loc parameter optional and when we are making it optional if the user wants they can pass the value for this loc parameter while instantiating this member class like we are doing here and if they don't want they can also omit this value and we should not have any error if i save the changes application compiled successfully and we have zero errors so since this LOC parameter now, it is an optional parameter. If the user wants, they can pass a value for this. Otherwise, if they don't want, they can omit the value for this LOC parameter. So by default, this LOC will be undefined. Right here, when we do not pass any value for this LOC parameter, it will be undefined. And that undefined will be assigned to this location property. So what we can also do is we can set a default value if the user does not pass a value for this optional parameter and that we can simply do by using this equal to operator and then assigning a default value let's say london so in that case if the user does not pass a value for this loc parameter so here we have an error if i hover over it it says parameter cannot have question mark and initializer okay so when we are making this parameter optional using this question mark at that time we should not be able to initialize it so we cannot set a default value here but what we can do is we can initialize it with some initial value at this line and now if we save the changes we should not have any error now application is compiled successfully so in this way we can also set an optional parameter so this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.